after 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, our freezing rain has turned into a sleep storm now. Greetings, YouTube. What you guys see here before you are some of the items that I took with me on the freezing rain adventure, namely the clothing that I took. I'm going to go through, since I've had some of you guys ask me about it, and detail everything I had with me. I'll just break it down into sections right after I get some coffee. The first item today is not coffee, actually, but we have a pair of our Outdoor Design Gators. Uh, while I didn't wear these in the outdoor uh, freezing rain adventure, um, I did have these in my pack just in case since they were calling for a winter storm. We ended up not getting any snow but having freezing rain all night long. If you guys saw that, you uh, saw the ice in the morning and heard it during the night. But um, let's see here, guys. These run about $25 to $40 online. They are three-layer waterproof and windproof material. Uh, you have a uh, full-length zipper and Velcro. Maybe you guys can see that. Try not to shake this around too bad. But getting this all the way up. Um, you do have the rubber underfoot strap along with a uh, shock cord calf adjustment. Uh, these are fantastic. They really are great gaiters, especially for the price. Like I said, they're about $25 to $40 online. I think I paid about $27 through Amazon. Um, good deal. From the gaiters to the boots, we have the North Face Chill Cat 2. And these are pretty good boots. Um, they're a little bit heavy for any sort of long distance hiking, but I've easily done like five miles in them and no issues at all. No issues with overheating. Um, these cost about $100 brand new on Amazon. Um, I got these for $32 at GearTrade.com. You can go there, check them out. They, they used to have tons of these, so you may be, may be able to find some as well. Um, they're rated down to negative 25 degrees. And this is possible thanks to 200 grams of Permalof insulation. Um, they are fully seam sealed, waterproof. Um, they're just great boots. I really like these a lot. Um, they do fit a little small, so you may want to remember that when you're ordering. You might want to get a half size to maybe even a full size bigger, especially if you plan on wearing some thicker socks. Um, I, I've worn these from you know about down to uh, 10 degrees all the way up to 40 degrees. Um, no issues with overheating, even with the thickest of wool socks. Um, very, very good, especially for $32. From the boots to the socks, we have the Wigwam Merino Wool and Silk Hiking Sock. Um, these are very thick, and I absolutely love these socks. Um, let's see, they're about $16 on Amazon. And they are 65% wool, 20% nylon, 10% silk, and 5% spandex. And uh, they are awesome. They are very, very awesome. Highly recommended. As you guys can see here, we're basically moving from the feet up to the head. So the next step in our gear would be the long underwear that I was wearing during that adventure. And uh, this is the XGO a climate dry long underwear. It's 50% wool, 50% polyester, runs for about $50 um, on their website online. Um, I was able to get these for about 15 bucks on theclimb.com. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me back up here for you. Basically, it is what you think it would be. Just long thermal underwear. Um, kept me nice and warm all night long. So in other words, it did its job. Over the thermal underwear, we have the Fjall Raven uh, Barents Pants, also known as trousers, depending on where you're at. <clears throat> These are rockstar pants. 
And what I mean by that is that they are incredibly awesome. They, they are the star of any of your clothing. Yeah, oh yeah. As you guys can see, anything black in my house is covered with husky hair. Namely because of this sweet girl right here. <laughs> what a good dog. That's Dallas, by the way. Anyway, with these Fial Raven trousers, uh, let's see, we're looking at about $150 to $300 per pair. Um, you can find these occasionally on um, theclimb.com for about $75. Whenever they're on there, I go out and buy a couple pair. I've got about four now. That will probably last me the rest of my life. These are serious trekking pants. Uh, these are the G1000 material, double reinforcements, um, especially over the knees and the, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, over the knees. Um, let's see here. Seven pockets, including a map, map pocket, axe pocket, inner safety pockets. Um, they even have, if you guys can see this here, you can, um, these are basically pockets right through here for knee pads. <laughs> they are freaking amazing. Uh, they are wind resistant, water resistant. You can take these to a Fjall Raven uh, store and you can have them fully waxed and to make them 100% waterproof. I've used these in pouring rain and uh, they work very, very well. Uh, they do a great job of repelling water. I mean, if it's a deluge, you will eventually, you know, get soaked through. But they dry incredibly quickly. Um, I'm an amateur uh, blacksmith, so I was out looking for some old uh, railroad uh, <clears throat> stakes, uh, or railroad nails and stuff like that, um, during a, a wet wet fall day and I was wearing these pants with a poncho and got absolutely soaked you know after about an hour of heavy rain and whenever it stopped within 20 minutes I was completely dry they really do work well as you can see that's a G1000 Fjall Raven Fox there um, highly recommended they're awesome they're rock stars from the pants to the shirt and what we got here is a, a pretty cheap shirt but it actually works pretty well uh, this is an Old Navy active shirt um, about three dollars it's 100 percent polyester um, it does a good job of just wicking away moisture and for being a cheap shirt especially for three bucks can't be beat so from the shirts to the jackets and this jacket I actually didn't have to use during my, my trip, but uh, I had it in my pack just in case. Um, I kind of used it as a pillow in conjunction with my pants there. But uh, this is the Brooks Range Brezza Synthetic Insulation Jacket. This is about 160 bucks online. I was able to get this from theclimb.com uh, for about $65. This is the Puretex Quantum Shell, which is water resistant with the DWR uh, treatment. Uh, permalof uh, insulation and this is a, a really nice jacket it really does you know compact well compress well into your pack or wherever you're gonna put it um, and it's pretty warm too and it, it supports a good range of temperatures because I've used this by itself you know in the 30s 40s very comfortable I've worn it with a shell over it down to about 19 degrees and was absolutely warm so uh, that's the the jacket portion uh, from my trip, which I didn't have to use, luckily. So, to the final piece, we have the Marmot Pre-Sip Jacket. <clears throat> and this really performed well um, in conjunction with the rest of my system that I used that night. Um, it's about $100 online. I got it for $25 off of Gear Trade from uh, Backcountry. Um, it is the dry touch technology. It has pit zips. And it is 100% seam sealed, so you don't have to worry about any leaking. 
Um, got some shock cord down here for the waist. Velcro cuffs. Uh, you also have Velcro along with the zipper here, all the way up. Um, fantastic jacket. And, oh yeah, also, our uh, final piece of kit is the coal beanie, which is merino wool. Um, fantastic. Kept my head nice and warm. Helped prevent uh, heat loss throughout the night. Um, and pretty much, guys, that's all the uh, clothing gear that I took with me on my trip for the uh, freezing rain adventure. Um, I appreciate your guys' comments and the conversations that I've had so far with some of you all. Um, it's been fantastic. I've enjoyed talking to you guys. I'm looking forward to more. Um, I'll have some more videos coming up shortly. I got a couple backpacking adventures planned and some long day hikes. I'm currently planning a 34 mile day hike coming up in the next couple days. So. Keep watching, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk at you guys later. Peace.